Welcome. This is John Teisberg at BurningTruck.com. You're watching podcast BT145, adding sound to Pencil. Pencil is a free animation software. One thing you might want to consider before you start animating is making your sound file first. It may seem a little backwards to do it that way, but this is how it's done by those in the know. Animations take a long time to build. Sound files are quick to build, quick to edit, and easy to change. By adding sound to your animation, you give it a whole nother dimension. You get to guide how people feel when they watch your animation. The different sound makes in an animation is pretty amazing. And the software to make that happen is free. Look for software called Audacity. It's a free download, very well behaved, and it works on Macs, Windows, and Linux machines. It's open source software, and it works great. Pencil likes to import WAV files, .wav. Pencil does like WAV files, and I know they work. There's a little bit of preliminary work you need to do to set up Pencil before you import your sound file. Look for podcast BT144, and that talks about adding frames to Pencil. I'll quickly review what we talked about in that podcast. First, we decided to go with 24 frames a second, which makes very smooth animations. And we added a bunch of frames. And we did that by going to Edit, and preferences and going to time size in frames and then typing in 600 clicking on timeline and clicking on close we found out how many frames we need by multiplying 24 frames times 25 seconds which is just how long my sound file is at the magic number of 600 so it was important to have at least 600 frames in this animation now it's time to Add a sound layer. Go down here to layers and click on the plus sign. And you've got four different options. New bitmap layer, vector layer, sound layer, camera layer. We are after a sound layer. Click on that and you'll see it show up at the bottom of the list. This black button in front means that this layer is active. If you click it, it goes gray and you'll notice the pink bar went gray too. We want this dark and we want the pink bar to be lit up too. Let's go to the bitmap layer that's active and hot. And now we'll go import our sound. Let's go up to edit and import sound. Oh, we got a warning. Please select a sound layer in order to import sounds. Hmm, okay. Go back down to the bottom, get my sound layer active. Oh, I'm excited about this. I'm also going to slide back here. So I'm on frame one. Now I'm going to go up to Edit, Import Sound. Now I drill down to find the sound file. Remember, I'm looking for a WAV file. And there it is. Click Open. There she is. Look for the gray triangle and the name of your sound file. If you don't see that, then you're not going to be able to hear your sound. Ah, now it's time to listen to the sound. Ooh, wait. There are three things you need to know before you can even hear your sound. This is a weird setup, but here we go. The three secrets to hearing your sound in pencil. First, you have to add a keyframe at the end of your sound file. We know that this should end at frame 600. So we'll take that bottom bar, slide it all the way over, drift around till we find frame 600. Tap on that, and then we go over here to keys and hit the plus sign. Boom. I don't see any key on there. I'm going to bitmap layer, hit key again. There. Now I've got a keyframe. I don't know why sound file doesn't accept keys, but that's step one. Let's slide back to the beginning, and I'm going to tap on frame two. And I'm going to hit the play button. I don't hear it. Stop it. Go back to frame one. Hit the play button. I can hear it. That's good. Oh, I can't hear it. What's going on? Bitmap layer's hot. Vector layer's hot, and I won't be able to hear it. If I've got the sound layer hot, and I click on play, works great. Go back to the beginning, frame one. Go to the top layer where the frames are. I can hear it there, too. I cannot hear it when these other layers are active. Ooh. 
So first, put a keyframe at the end of your sound file. Two, go to the first frame in your animation. And three, you've got to have the right layer active before you can hear your sound file. A weird and fussy setup. I want to talk about these play buttons for a minute. Of course, this black triangle means play. That bent arrow means loop. This last one is the speaker button. And I don't know why they even bothered to put it in there, but you can turn your speakers off so your sound doesn't bother you, I guess. This would be a really good time to save your file. Pencil's not the most stable program around, so I do a lot of saves. The first time I save my file, I'll give it a name, and I'll end it with dash rev a, revision a. When I make more changes to the file, I'll save it again, only I'll call it rev b. After more changes, I'll save it as rev c. Hmm, a pattern. This is a simple way to make sure that if something blows up, I can always go back to the last file I worked on and I haven't lost everything. So remember to save often and frequently in pencil. Congratulations, you've just added sound to pencil. Thanks for watching. Feel free to visit burningtruck.com for an eclectic collection of podcasts and 3D photos. Thanks.